footballs as an ambulance is about to be trialled around the country. The multi-purpose vehicle was developed by St John and the Fire Service. As Dave Gooselink reports, it's aimed at providing a better first response for small communities. For emergency call-outs in remote locations, the fire service is often first on the scene. Backup from ambulance or helicopters can be more than an hour away. This combination fire appliance and medical vehicle aims to bridge that crucial time gap. The aim is to provide a, a faster clinical response to areas where the fire service may have a resource that is closer than the nearest ambulance station. Volunteer fire services in many rural and remote areas already provide a first response for a variety of medical emergencies. This dual purpose vehicle has full fire appliance capabilities with the rear reserved for clinical space, including enough room for a stretcher. But it's not intended to replace an ambulance. So this is the same as what actually happens now, but it provides a safer uh, clinical environment for the patients to be held in until the ambulance service arrives. St John and the Fire Service spent three years designing and building the prototype vehicle. It'll be tested by three volunteer brigades over the next year, starting with Canterbury's Diamond Harbour. Communities where they had trouble with um, basically patient care, putting them in the back and then transferring them to an ambulance or a helicopter, whatever it may be. If the trials are successful, the combo vehicles could eventually be rolled out to the 37 volunteer fire brigades around the country who were the first call in an emergency. Dave Gooselink, 3 News.